Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Father, we bless your holy name. We worship your majesty. We glorify you. We say, Blessed be unto thee. You are the Lord of hosts. You are the King of glory. You are the I am that I am. You are the unchangeable changer. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. We bless you. Rabba katalaba shika yaraba si terebo si andaba. Le rabba katalaba si terebo shike terebo katalaba. Oh, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Elohim, you never change. Somebody worship him. Elohim, internal one. Elohim, you never, you never change. Hallelujah. Yes, Jehovah God. The God of all creation. He whose words cannot be broken. The self give him thanks we worship you eternal you never change never fail oh Jesus we bless you Jesus we exalt you Jesus we glorify your holy name oh God let your name be exalted, O God. Oh, Father God. Somebody worship him. Oh, thank him. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his grace and his mercy. This is the last day of this year. This is the last day. Just a few hours this year will roll away. What a faithful father. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a faithful God. What a faithful God. Rabba gada ba shin terebos. Lega lega bos kan talaba ba 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 shin terebos. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful for your grace. We are grateful. Oh, riga lega ba 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 shin terebos kan tarabash. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. 
Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We bless you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. Oh, ragalagabashike, ragabababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
You are worthy to be praised and adored. Mashikere bosi kaya daba. Ibraka dada ba yike lege de bos kantala bash. Ibraka tos kenteli ada bosi kaya. Lord, you are worthy. This is the last day of the year. The last day of the year. Come on, give him thanks. Come on, give him praise. You did not end with this year. You will never end with this year. You will not end with this year. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, 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 Rabagado Sikete, Lintes Kenderebo Sikaya, Rabagada Basikete, Oh, Jehovah God, you are worthy, you are worthy, God of awesome wonder, you are worthy, I have tasted of your power, you are worthy. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. Lord, you have shown me so much mercy, much more than I can deserve, Lord. Ah, Makarabasi in the labels. Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are awesome. Lord, you are faithful. Lord, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are faithful. Worthy to be praised and adored. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Rakata sikete la bakataraba. Eh, makatora bakato sindria. Libra gadadadada bashi terebos kandalaba. Oh, rabagados kandalala boshi kayaraba. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. Yes, Father God. Yes, Jesus. Masike terebosi katala ba 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 shinde terebosi karagaba. Ribra gada da 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 bas kantala ba shikatala bas. Oh, Father God, thank you. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my husband. Thank you for my job. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for all you are doing. Thank you for the one you are still going to do. My darlings, let me tell you, this year is ending today, but your life is just starting. The best is about to happen. I am telling you, don't worry. I do not know what you may be going through. I do not know what may be a challenge to you. You may be thinking. Let me reduce the volume a bit. You may be thinking, oh, this thing that I so much desire, this thing that I'm asking for, this thing that I want is not coming forth yet. And this year has already ended. This is just the beginning. The Lord is opening a new chapter in your life. The Lord of hosts is starting a new chapter in your life. Remember what the Lord said to us. Uh, uh, was it two days ago or three, three, three days ago when we were lying? He said this year is going to be a great year. 2020 will be a great year. But for those that will diligently seek him. So already he has given you a promise that this year it's going to be great. So this is just the beginning. The beginning of the beginnings. The beginning of the beginnings. This is just the beginning. Don't be moved. Don't be moved by the situation. Don't be moved by the circumstances. Don't be moved by anything. Because the Lord of hosts, He is just getting started. He's just getting started. Hey, my shantalaba. Iprakatalaba gado sikayedabo. He is just getting started. He is just starting with you. He is just starting with you. He is just starting with you. Oh my God. It is not over yet. The year may be get going over. The year is about to be over. The year is about to be rolled away. But your own life is still here. When there is life, there is hope. Haven't you heard that? Oh, they say when there is life, there is hope. When there is life, there is hope. The Lord of hosts, he is working it out. He is working it out. So appreciate him this morning. Give thanks to him this morning. 
Because those ones in the grave, they won't even be talking about food or or uh, talking about uh, marriage or talking about children or job or talking about uh, anything else. Because who those in the grave, they don't talk. It is over for them. It is over for them, but here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. It is, uh, it is enough to appreciate God. The going may be tough. Oh, ragalagabashin taraba. Oh, rigalagalagabashin terebos. Eh, masin terebos ikayaraba. The going may still be rough. You may be say, eh. Hey. Today is the last day of the year. What have I achieved? My God, look at the things that God has done. That songwriter says, count your blessings and name them one by one. Count your blessings and name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. It will surprise you what your father has done. It will surprise you what your father has done. It will surprise you what your father has done. He is an awesome, awesome God. He is a faithful, faithful God. Oh, Jesus. Begin to appreciate him. Because when you do that, you are preparing the ground for your 2020. You are preparing the ground for your 2020. You are saying, Lord, I am ready to be blessed. Oh, I am ready to go into my new level. I am I'm ready to be promoted to my next level. Jesus, I am ready to be promoted to my next level. In the name of Jesus. Oh, rakateli bakatayadaba. Shantara basken de lelele bosi bragadaba. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Oh, ribagadaba, ba, 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 Lord, we worship you. Oh, Rabaka Tolega Boskan Talababa Baba. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, come on, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Oh, Rabaka Talabaskan Teleboskan Talaba. Oh, Chitarabaskan Dalaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Look at it. Just like yesterday, we entered into 2019. And it's almost be, being rolled. It's about to be rolled into history. Is God not amazing? Many things happened in this year, 2019. But the Lord of hosts has kept us. The Lord of hosts has kept us through it all. The Lord of hosts has stood with us through it all. Maybe for you, 2019 was a challenging year. Was a challenging year. Was a challenging year. But here you are. Here you are. Still standing. Because the Lord of hosts won the battle over your life. Glory to you, Father. Hallelujah, Mashan Taraba Baba Baba Sike Taraba. Oh, Rigalagalaga Bashin Taraba Baba Baba Baba. Eh, Labagados can tell a bush. You know, give him your all. Begin to give him your heart. Your spirit, your soul, your body, begin to release them to him. Begin to release them to him. Oh, Jehovah God. Oh, Jehovah God. 
Hey Jesus. Masikete rabakatalaba. Lift up your voice. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Think about the things you went through in 2019. Think about the difficult times, the situation. Think about it. Think about it. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Father God. If it had not been for him, where would you have been this year? If it had not been for the Lord, where would you have ended up this year? Hey, Lord, we are here to say thank you. 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 First Chronicles 16.34. First Chronicles 16.34. It says, somebody, you can type it for us. First Chronicles 16.34. It says, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. His love, his mercies, his grace endures forever. God loves you so much. God loves us so much. That is why he did not allow this year, all the troubles you went through this year to overflow you. That is why he did not allow the plots of the wicked to overflow you. That is why you are still here smiling. It's not that he doesn't love those ones that has been flowed away. It is just that things happened. It's just because things happened. But he loves you specially. That is why you shouldn't take that love for granted. You went through difficult situation. You went through things. 2019 was tough and rough. Challenges here and there. But you are here. Through it all, you are still here. Psalms 95, 2-3. Psalms, the book of Psalms. Psalm, somebody type it please. Psalm 95. Chapter 95, verses 2 to 3 says, Let us come before him with thanksgiving. See, thanksgiving is very, very important. Because when you are thankful, you are provoking for more. Hmm. If you are thankful, you are provoking for more. For example, you as a parent, you keep doing something for your child. Keep buying them nice things. You keep buying them something good. And the child will just take it and go. The child will just take it and go. There is a, when you give, the, you say, come back here, give it to me. Since you do not appreciate. Give it to me. You will collect it. Even some, maybe like the little ones you give them, they'll say, what do you say? You yourself, you are expecting the child to say, thanks, mom. Thanks, dad, for giving me this thing. For giving me money. For giving me, uh, buy me something. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. And then even when you see something you want to buy, but if you have an ungrateful relative 
ungrateful child, you will not be motivated to say this one that is always ungrateful self. This one that is always ungrateful. Nothing you give to him or her that, that he or she will appreciate. The motivation to even do anything won't be there. But when you have somebody, a friend, a friend, anybody that is so appreciative, if for ordinary pencil, you give, you say, oh, thank you. Ah, this pencil is beautiful. Anything you give, oh, it's nice. Thank you so much. Oh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. When you say something that will suit that person and you have the means to get it for the person, you will not hesitate. You will not hesitate because this person is always appreciative. That is your God as well. When you come before him all the time with a heart of gratitude and appreciation. Before you ask him, thanksgiving will open those doors for you that your prayers cannot even open. Thanksgiving will cause you to go far. Thanksgiving will cause you to locate even your helpers of destiny and your thanks will cause them to continue to help you. Why? Because you are appreciative. Thanksgiving will open doors. Whereby somebody is helping you all the time, helping you, doing something for you all the time. You are not appreciative. They will just stop doing it. Say, this one that is not, don't, don't even appreciate my time. This one that don't, and that is why you yourself, don't take people from, for granted. Anybody that God has positioned in your life that is helping you, that is doing one thing or the other, learn to be appreciative. Learn to be appreciative. He doesn't say, ah, is this this little thing you give me? You gave me. Well, in fact, this one, this gift is useless. What am I going to do with this one? No. I appreciate it first. You don't want it. Then go and give it out to someone else that would value it. But show that appreciation. Because it will open more doors for you. When somebody, he that is, he that is faithful in little, who is faithful in much. When the person says how appreciative you are of that little pencil or pen that they gave you when they see a book say hey this book will be good for this brother or sister they will buy it and you are ah, wow thank you so much oh i really appreciate this then the next thing they see a dress or a set of shows. oh this thing will suit is on sales they will buy it why because they know you have a heart of gratitude there are people you will help in life they will just Act as if you didn't do nothing for them. It's still okay. You, it kills your desire. On appreciation kills the desire in people to help you. That is God. He values thanksgiving. He values worship. Say, let them give thanks. Yeah, we're we reading Psalm 95, 2 to 3. Psalm 95, 2 and 3 says, Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great king above all gods. Why will you not appreciate that one? You were pregnant. You gave birth successfully. Many people gave, died during childbirth. Many people had a CSC session and they did not even wake up. They did not survive it. They had complications, internal bleeding, something happened and they died. But you went there, they did it for you. You went there, you gave birth, you are alive, your children are alive. The enemies tried to even kill you without pregnancy. If only the Lord, Lord will open your eyes to see how he saved you. You were single when you came into this year. Now, at the end of this year, you are married. You were jobless. You were homeless. One thing or the other was not working. You were stuck. But God of hosts, this 2019, he turned your situation around. He changed something in your life. Appreciate him. Look at Psalm 107, 8 and 9. He says, let them give thanks to the Lord. Psalm 107. Psalm 107, 8 to 9. He says, let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love, for his wonderful deeds for mankind, for, this, for he satisfies the thirsty and feeds the hungry with good things. You were in that country, no documents. This year, you got your own documents. 
You started a job. You started a business. You released an album. You did something this year. You achieved this year. You traveled here and there. In fact, you even go from point A to point B to point C to point Z. Nothing happened. Your children are well. Your husband, your wife is well. Things may not be 100% where you want it to be, but you are somewhere God wants you to be. That is enough to thank him. Because 2020, every other thing that is there that belongs to you, in fact, the Lord will still bring it. Even today, this year has not ended fully. Until 12 midnight today, something wonderful can still happen. That miracle you have been waiting for can still happen. Look at Colossians 3, 17. Colossians 3, 17. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. See, Jesus, thanksgiving will cause multiplication in your life. Even Jesus understood this secret. Before he will do anything, see, let me read it again. First Corinthians, um, no, um, Col uh, Colossians 3, 17. Look away. And whatever you do, anything whatsoever you do, whether in your talking, whether in your action, do it in God's name. Do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. And then you are giving thanks to God the Father through him. Jesus had two loaves and three fishes only to feel thousands of people. My dear, your household of ten or seven or five is two loaves of bread and three fishes able to feed all of you. No, let's be sincere now. You have a family of 10. Maybe you, your brother, your sisters, parents, family of 10. And then the only meal in your house is two loaves of bread and three fish. Will it satisfy you people? It is not possible. But Jesus had only that to work with. Jesus had just that to work with. Two loaves of bread. With hungry men and women, not to even count the children. But when Jesus took it in faith, he gave thanks. The Bible said he gave thanks. The Bible did not say Jesus started praying. Oh, you bread, multiply, multiply, multiply. There was a situation at hand. There was a situation at hand. Jesus did not say, oh, hey, bread, multiply, multiply, fish, multiply, 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 hey, bread, multiply, so that you can feed this 5,000 people, multiply. Jesus was not praying that prayer. He gave thanks ahead, believing God, believing that these two bread and five, three fish will feed over 5,000 people because when you count the children, over 5,000 people. And the misery, the miracle was that after everybody has eaten and eaten and eaten, there were so many other baskets full of the same multiplication. Jesus knows how to give thanks to his father. When Lazarus was in the grave, Jesus got there in a bad situation. Oh, maybe we should read it. Just that place. Maybe we should read it. Maybe we should read it. Mashakaraba sin terribles. I prokoto sin terriba katalaba. Hey, rabagadaba sin de 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 bush. Lakato sin taraba. Hey, maskantala ba 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 Eh, la bagados kendelelele boshi taraba. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. John 11. We are going to jump. 
We are going to skip um, some verses. Hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Mashantala basken de de <laughs> now we are going to jump. We know the story of Lazarus. We are going to jump to the end. We are going to jump to verse uh, 41. Lazarus died. They sent for Jesus. They, Jesus even knew what was going on. You think, you think he doesn't know about that situation? You can read it from verse uh, from 11 from 1. Jesus delayed. He waited extra two days before he started on the journey. Lazarus was sick. He knew. It's not that Jesus did not know. He knows that your situation. He knows what you are going through. When he got to hear about it, when he got to, he still tarried again. And then after some days, he now went there. By the time he arrived, Lazarus had died. Lazarus has died. People were we are crying. Hey, even the brother, the sister came. Jesus, if you had come, my brother would not have died. It is all for your glory. It is all for his glory. That situation you are going through, it's all for his glory. He's going to show up just when you think it is over. They thought Lazarus was dead for good, but Jesus still showed up. They thought it is too late. The situation was already stinking. He was already smelling, decaying. Wow. That your situation may be decaying. They thought it was over. People were already crying. And he's supposed to be a friend of God. He was supposed to be Jesus' friend. Lazarus is friends with Jesus. So are his sisters. Mary and Martha. You may be thinking there is no more hope. 2019 is over. It is oh, 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 it is over. Do you know that God can still carry over your miracle and your testimony? First week of January, you will be surprised that that thing you've been waiting for comes to pass. You'll be amazed. My God. They thought the situation was bad enough. All God wants is your faith to believe that anything is possible. Jesus came, he told them in verse, I'm going to read 41. So they took away the stone and Jesus raised his eyes towards heaven and said, Father, thank you. Father, I thank you. Jesus was faced with a situation. His friend was dead. People were looking up to him, but he still understood that it is not too late for God to respond. It is not too late yet. God knows it is not too late. Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me and listen to me. Look at that. I know. He said, say, Father, thank you that you have heard me. Has he prayed any prayer? Has he prayed any prayer? Look at that one. Thank you. I thank you that you have heard me. When did he pray that his father has heard? But he, also is, he was already giving thanks ahead of that prayer. He was speaking in faith. He hasn't prayed. He hasn't told Lazarus to come forth. But before he does, he said, thank you because I know you have heard me. Even though, are you catching this one? Even though he has not prayed, he already believed that that case is settled. That situation is over. We need to come into 2020 with this kind of mindset. Believing and trusting him for everything. I believe that you hear me always. You have heard me, Seth. And you always hear me. Thank you, Father. 
This is, this is the kind of thanksgiving that provokes God. Oh, thank you, Jesus, because I know that my husband is already here. Ah, thank you, Lord, because in 2019, I was waiting for him to arrive. And you shifted him again to 2020. Thank you, Lord, because he's already here. Wherever he is, I give you thanks for divine location. He will locate me. Husband hasn't come, but you're already praying and believing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Because medically, it is not possible for me to be pregnant. But I thank you, the restorer of wombs, because of my twins, because of my child, because of the children that you have in store for me. Thank you for restoration, Lord. Oh, thank you because you have done it before. A woman with no womb or anything got pregnant and had a beautiful baby boy lord you are still that god that that that, that god that 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 repeat miracle i connect to the grace in that woman's life lord my own condition is already over thank you father because i am pregnant with my child thank you father because i am pregnant with my children thank you father because you have opened my way thank you because 2020 is my year of greater honor Oh, my children are locating me. My husband is locating me. My wife is locating me. Oh, Father, thank you for that job that you have provided for me. You don't even have a job. You are still submitting CVs. You are still applying, but you are praying ahead for those jobs that you have released to me. Thank you, Father. Because you will order my step to locate that job, that job, miracle job, that job that will work for my good, that job, you know, this is exactly what Jesus did here. You have heard me. I knew that you always hear me and listen to me. Not I know, I knew past tense. Sometimes when you are reading the Bible, put all these things into play. I knew, not today, I knew it from past experience that you have, you always answer me. You always hear me. You always answer me. Oh, I knew it. When my child was sick, oh, three years ago, I called on you, Father, you answered me. When my husband lost his job, we cried to you, Father, you heard him. When we needed our settlement, Lord, we came to you. Father, you heard us. You begin to remind him of his wonders. You begin to remind him of the ones he has done in the past. You begin to remind him and then your faith will begin to arise. That child died. You are saying, Lord, ha, you raise, raise, raise Lazarus. This is our Lazarus of today. I represent you, Jesus. The same thing. Ah, I thank you because I know you hear me always. This child cannot die. Come back to life. Not praying in fear, but in faith, it will work wonders. You go back, you begin to recount how he saved you from that accident. Ah, God, thank you. When our car was about to crash, I called on your name and you delivered me. This one is nothing able to do it. I knew, not I know, future tense, present tense, past I knew, Jesus said, I knew. I have already known it before now. So this one is nothing. This one is nothing. I know the God that you are able to do anything. You have heard stories. I have seen, watched testimonies of how you healed cancer. You killed cancer to his root. Father, you have heard me already. This cancer cannot kill me. This sickness cannot kill me. Diabetes cannot kill me. Complications of whatever cannot kill me. Because Lord, my life is hidden in you. You are praying in faith. Instead of coming before God and begin to complain, God, you know, eh, 2018, that is how you did not answer that prayer. And you, you just left me. I enter 2019 now. Eh, God, 2019, this one you are quarreling with God, not praying from, to him. 
he is not obligated to give you anything if he doesn't want to. You can't make him. Your quarreling and fighting will not make him. It is your heart of worship, your heart of appreciation, your heart of faith that will move God. All this drama will not move him. All this drama will not move him at all. It is your faith that will move God. Your faith is what we move in. Learn to come to him in faith. Jesus said, Father, thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me and listen to me. Did the Bible not tell you that Jesus is a silent listener to every conversation? You always hear me and listen to me. But I have said this because of the people standing around me, so that they may believe that you have sent me. Then before he now prayed, Lazarus comfort. After Thanksgiving, did you see Jesus sweating? Hey, Lazarus, Lazarus, comfort, 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 comfort. I say, rise up. I say, rise up. Rise up. You must rise up today. By fire, by thunder. By fire, by force. Lazarus, you have to rise up. Oh. You have to rise up. Oh. 30 minutes, you are still praying it. One hour, you are still praying the same one prayer. Because it felt like the prayer wasn't working. So you continued. After Jesus has done all of that, he just said, Lazarus, come out. Why? Because he has handled it in the spiritual. He has tackled it in the spiritual. This is just the physical manifestations of it. Learn to handle your matter in the spiritual. And then you wait for the physical to manifest. Then you wait for the physical to manifest. Lazarus comfort. Out came the man who had been dead. His hands and feet tightly wrapped in burial clothes. And with a burial cloth, uh, cloth wrapped around his face, Jesus said, unwrap him and release him. The King Blaise will say, Jesus said, lose him and let him go. Your prayer of faith, thanks, your prayer of appreciation, your prayer of faith, your prayer of believing, which is faith, your prayer of worship will cause that dead situation to come to life. Not your prayer of fear. Eh, eh, Jesus, I want to sleep. As I want to sleep now, eh, just come and protect me. Oh. Protect me, protect me. Pro me, eh, me, I say it all the time. I pray all day. So I don't need to go do those long prayers because I want to sleep and you are afraid. When through I did, I'm praying. At work, I'm speaking in tongues. I am praying. It is good. I pray at night. Not all time. Like last night now. Last night I was so tired up until one of one 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 something. Booked my ticket to London or something. In fact, me and my phone and my bank card, we slept together on this bed. I woke up, my bank card. I, I said, ah, did I finish that transaction? I slept off. And I slept peace. Which which want to come and try who? They won't die. You touch me by error, you die by correction. I am not joking. You touch God's anointed. That is you kill yourself. You, you are praying out of fear. When even before this, this before I even started doing it, I have been worshiping. I have been watching, uh, doing uh, live videos. I have been in prayers. So why will I, because of fear, I pray at night just because I feel like it. Just because I want to, not because I am afraid. I pray because I study, I pray, I study my Bible. In fact, sometimes I am studying my Bible, so me and the Bible will sleep together because I'm tired. That's what I mean. I prefer my own time during the day with God. It's better for me. Night one is just like top up. It's just a top up. So why? Because of fear. You are afraid that that much they may come to fight you. That wizard. They may come and to do something, something. And you begin to pray in fear. No. Jesus said, Thank you, Father. Don't forget Jesus himself is God. If Jesus knows how to appreciate his Father, thank him for every little thing. 
What about us? That is the kind of prayer that will yield quick results. Very fast results. Prayer of thanksgiving. Prayer of appreciation. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his good. We just went there so that you will know. We are fasting today. I hope you guys you know it. I deliberately did not post it. Let me see those of us that are really serious. How many of us have started your fast? It's not little. We are still in the early morning. You can just continue now. Our fasting today is 6 o'clock. No food, no water. Now it is 6. 6 p.m. So we are fasting till 6 today. It is good we end the day like that. End the year with him. And we start with him again. Tomorrow we have a three days program. Today, tomorrow, and next tomorrow. But we are not fasting tomorrow, but we'll be coming online tomorrow. And just come and proceed. First, first day of the year. Enter the year right. So we'll come, we'll be online tomorrow, but we are not fasting. Enjoy your food tomorrow. The fasting is today. We already started at 6 o'clock to 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'll be coming online. After this one, I will we'll go after this prayer and then come back later. Probably around 12 or 11. Let's say 12. We'll be back online like around 12 o'clock and just begin to pray for all this uh, for, for today. Praise the Lord. And then tomorrow, we'll still come online. At least after enjoyment, cook and eat. We'll come online to appreciate God and pray into our um, 2020. This is the time you make declarations. This is the time you make decrees for the year. Praise the Lord. And then our fasting will start tomorrow night, 24 hours in God's presence fast. 12 midnight tomorrow. After you are finished eating during the day. So for those of you that are in America, Canada, or uh, Trinidad, all those areas that we have a long time zone, if you want to fast with your own time zone, it's okay. If you want to fast with our own time zone, it is okay. We are using um, UK time. Praise the Lord, which is Nigeria. Those in Nigeria, you are one hour ahead of us. Europe, some countries are equally one hour or two hours ahead. So work out the time difference. Is here now is like a few minutes to seven. So note your time zone, your time difference. I'm 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 I live in the UK. So the time zone here now is like almost seven. It's like above is about uh six seven minutes to seven. So you can use that to work out your time, the time in your own location. This is seven seven to seven, almost seven a.m. in the morning. So work at the time. So the same my 12 o'clock will come online. This time it maybe it will be live live video, not audio. Praise the Lord. So that we can we can declare some promises of God concerning us in 2020. And then we're going to speak into 2020. 2020 has to release all our blessings, all that the Lord has for us. In 2020 must locate us in the name of Jesus. And so tomorrow, midnight, 12 midnight, on the first, 12 midnight of on the first, we will come online to pray. Our prayer, our fasting will start 24 hours fasting, no food. for 20, You can drink water, but no food for 24 hours. Yes. We'll come back. We are fasting for greater glory. Greater glory. Greater glory in 2020. Greater glory. Greater honor. Ah, Mashan Tarabaske in the labels. And then we'll do 12, 24 hours from that 12 midnight until 12 midnight on the 2nd. Oh, that's where we'll end the fast. And I believe the Lord will launch us. In, uh, he's already launching us into our 2020. Praise the Lord. Ah, 2020 will be a great year. Remember what God said, that for those that diligently seek him, so don't be tired. Fasting, make fasting part of your life for spiritual growth. Ah, ah, hallelujah. Psalm 100 verse 4. We are going to be rounding up this uh, section. 
uh, with um, after this one, I'm going to uh, we'll round it up with Philippians. But for now, Psalm 100, verse 4. Somebody type it Psalm 100, verse 4. It says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. You see the importance of thanksgiving? It says, Enter Psalm 100, verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. This is how precious, how important your thanks is. Give thanks. Even thanking him without even expecting anything in return. When you do that, God knows what you need and he will send it to you. Philippians 4, 6-7. Philippians 4, 6 to 7. Let this be your motto. Let this be your guide for 2020. Do not be anxious. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. We will end with this. I will, we will drop some prayers and then we go. And then we'll come back 12 o'clock. It says, do not be anxious. Can somebody post not just the verse? I want you to go to Bible app, copy and paste this scripture for everybody to see. Somebody can go to their Bible app, copy this uh, scripture, then post it here so everybody can read it. See what it says. In this 2020, let this be your guide. Do not be anxious about anything. Ha. Huh. Matthew 7, it also says it that don't worry about anything. Worrying will not solve any problem. Worrying will not bring any solution. So don't be anxious and then you become depressed. You just become depressed for no reason. Don't become anxious about anything at all. You don't have food to eat. Fast. Turn it, Father, we don't have food to eat. But instead of me to be lamenting, thank you, I dedicate this day, my empty stomach as a sacrifice of fasting. In Before I will break my fast, Father, provide the food. Instead of me to be crying, oh, this God, God, where are you? God, where are you? Ah, uh, you don't you see me? Don't you see that my, there's no food in my kitchen? Oh, God, why? 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 Why, God? Uh-uh. Don't give the devil the satisfaction. Don't give him the satisfaction. Thank him because you have no food. Love him because you have no food. Worship him because you have no food. Dance to him because you have no food. And watch how food will overflow your kitchen. That is what provokes God. Rather than complaining, murmuring. Make sure this year you are not a complainer. Is it first Samuel 30? When Ziklag was... Is it first or second Samuel? One of them anyway. 30. When Joseph and his men came back, they found that their, their city has been burnt. Wives and children taken captives. They were frustrated. They were depressed. Even his men turned against him because they were all angry that their enemies has entered into their camp and while they were out and has taken their, their, their family hostage. What did David do? After crying, he went to go inquire of the Lord. He cried out of shock, out of pain. It's not, it's not wrong to show your emotions. You are emotional because something touched you. It is fine. But don't let that thing control you. That you will forget that there is God in Israel. Moses, uh, not Moses, David went before the Lord and inquired, Father, what do I do in this situation? 
what do i do in this situation how do i tackle this problem how do i tackle this situation should i overtake should i pursue can i catch up can i over subdue them can i overtake them before i even start first father let me know your will concerning this situation is your will for me to pursue or let it be is your will will i catch up because he knows it most uh, david knows that by his own strength he cannot prevail he cannot do anything by himself and so he went to his power source he went there he went looking for an answer Make that your motto for 2020. You are receiving keys now. Keys for blessings. Keys for promotion. Keys for increase in 2020. For 2020, don't take it carelessly. David, Father, should I pursue them? Can I catch up? Can I overtake? What will happen? Always learn to inquire from God before you step into that marriage, before you step into that business, before you step into that relationship. Father, is this your will? Will it work for me? Will it favor me? Oh, is this your part of your plan? Some of the things you will see is not what you will bargain for. Maybe you wanted God to do it in a certain way, but God chose to do it in a certain way that you, you, you were not even expecting. But that is his will consigning you. Still give him thanks and walk in it. And then later you will look back and say, ah, thank you, Jesus. This can only be you. Be anxious for nothing. They say, do not be anxious about anything. But in everything you do, but in everything you do, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Did you see thanksgiving there too? By prayer, supplication, worship, and thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. It is not wrong to make a request. Your child can come and say, Mom, can I have a dress? Mom, can I have this? Oh, Dad, I need this. They are letting you know what they want. But you have a choice. You will look, you will assess it and see if it is something they need. Because the Bible says, No good thing with he, will he withhold from those that love him. So if God is withholding anything from you, it is because his timing hasn't come yet. Because when his timing comes, no witch in your family can stop it. Let the, the most wicked wizard in your family rise up. They will die. Except it is not God. They cannot stop what God has started. Mm -mm. They cannot change the mind of God concerning you. No way. If they keep trying instead, they're not going to leave you. They will die shamefully they will confess and then die or some of them will confess they will run mad some will confess god will deal with them they become vegetable useless useless that is the power of your god then when you do that what will happen then the peace of god which surpasses all understanding will guide your hearts and your minds in christ jesus this one, this version says, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, which is above all understanding, will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God will intervene. There will be trouble. Why? Oh my God. There will be turmoil. You see, that difficult situation, people that know, is, know itself, they are helping you to, to lament and cry. And you, you are so peaceful. That is why people don't understand the kind of peace that we possess. You are going through a challenge. A very serious challenge. Eh? You are still laughing. Happy. Smiling. Loving God. Going to church. Still paying your tithes. 
still paying offering, still supporting the work of God, still doing everything that you need to do, not minding, not caring about the situation. That can only be God. He's the one that gives that kind of peace. You have no job. You have children to feed. You have no money. And yet you are there smiling. <laughs> Father, I know these children, they are yours. Thank you because I know you will take care of them. It's just like that sister who said, gave a testimony that was saying that she sent an offering. For example, her tithe, I mean not tithe, offering and seed for Thanksgiving, end of year Thanksgiving. And she was left with only $20. With three children to take care of, twenty dollar, even petrol for her to put petrol for her gas. I mean, it's English to put petrol for her gas. I mean, to put gas in her car. You guys call it gas. There. We call it petrol. Even to fuel her car, no money. She had only twenty dollars because she gave it to God. Sacrifice. And before she knew it, people began to call her. I said, God knows how to take care of you. He will put it in the heart of somebody to remember you at that particular time you needed the help. They will call you. They will even just wire money to your account. Somebody just called and say, oh, I have this and that for the children. Do you want to come pick it up? Or do you want me to drop it over? That is how everything they needed for that period was supplied by God. And just before Christmas, she was saying it, and tomorrow is Christmas, be two days now is Christmas. No money to even buy buy Christmas food. No money for this one. Before she knew it, somebody wired five hundred dollars to her account like that. Somebody she wasn't even expecting that he would be willing to give her that money. It was God that go sent his angels to go and put it in the heart of that guy or that person to remember them at that particular time in need. That is what God does. He will go put it in the heart of that man, that woman, to bless your life, to bring food for you. You'll be surprised. Oh, I went to I went I went grocery shopping and I just thought I should get you a few stuff. And this few stuff will be exactly what you need in that particular time. That is the God you serve. That is the Father we love. Do not be anxious. This 2020, no, walk in faith and not in fear. Believe in him. Trust him. Love him. Serve him. Be faithful to him. Be faithful to him. Live in obedience to his words. And come before him with a grateful heart and appreciate God. Oh, my Shantarabasi. Oh, Jesus. It says, <laughs> Hallelujah. God knows. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise he made to you. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Have you forgotten that song? He's able. He's able. He's able. Your God is able. Hey, your father is able. Don't you know that? Jesus, he's able to do it. He's able to give you that baby that you desire. He's able to make you pregnant. He's able to give you that job. He's able to settle your case and cases. He's able to turn that situation around. Oh, don't go lamenting. Shy. This year I want to end now. 
Eh? This one is not happened. That one has not happened. God is able to do. Thank him. Ahead of time. Like Jesus did. Just what he says he will do. Do you know that he will fulfill all his promises? When we come back online again later, we'll look at the promises of God for us. In the scripture. So that you can connect to them. He's gonna fulfill. I don't know the promise that God gave you. He will fulfill it. Every promise he gave to you. Hey. Please don't give up. End this year in praise. End it in praise. He's gonna fulfill. Every promise he made to you. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. God will never give up on you. You better believe it. That your father will never give up on you because he is able. The reason he's delaying is because it's not his timing yet. When his time he comes, no witch, no wizard, no demon, no office, no president, no governor, nobody in authority can stop it. They won't even know when they will call you and give it to you. Why? Because God's timing has arrived. If God is not releasing that thing you are asking for, it is because he has a better plan for you. He had better plan for you. He has a better plan for you. Key yourself into that plan. Believe in it and appreciate it. Remember what this is. Be anxious for nothing. Don't be controlled with anxiety. Don't be controlled with fear. Don't be controlled with doubt. Jesus looked to heaven. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, thank you. The same thing he did with two bread and five fishes. Father, thank you. Let that be your attitude. Always giving thanks. He's able to change that dark situation in your life and turn it around. Hallelujah. Now begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him for your 2020. In fact, thank him first for 2019. Thank him for 2020. And then you go on to 2020. He will cause that light to shine in that your situation. But you just continue to love him. Continue to love him. Continue to go to church. Continue to fellowship with him. Continue to read your Bible. Continue to pay tight. Continue to send offering. Continue to plant seeds. Continue to support the work of God. Irrespective of the situation. Continue to love God. Because he has given us a promise. For those that diligently seek him in 2020. Ah, by the end of 2020. You will look back and thank him. Thank you, Father. Your God is able. Your God is able. Your God is able. Your God is able. Hallelujah. 
Just begin to thank him. Just begin to appreciate him. Thank him for everything he did for you. The one that he is still going to do. Just appreciate him. Just appreciate him. Just appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Begin to encourage yourself like David. Refuse to be depressed. Refuse to be depressed. Come on, begin to appreciate him. Are you appreciating him? Thank him. You are alive. Your husband is alive. Your wife is alive. Your children are alive. At the end, this is the last day of 2019. And then begin to appreciate him for 2020. It's going to be a great year. Greater than 2019. God is able. Oh, Father, we appreciate. What shall we render to Jehovah? He's the one that can change any situation. Has the Lord not been good to you? Father, accept our praise. Accept our thanks. In the name of Jesus. Father, we appreciate you. We thank you, Jesus. We glorify your holy name. Father, accept your praise. Accept our praise. We appreciate you, Lord. For whom you are, we appreciate you. For your goodness, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for 2019. We thank you for standing with us. Standing by us. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you for all you are doing. And all that you are still going to do. For he has done so very much for me. Hallelujah. Has the Lord done anything for you? Count your blessings and name them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, some people think in the church. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We come with a grateful heart. With a heart of gratefulness. You have been so good to us. You have been so faithful to us. You have been so faithful to us. Father, we say thank you for your grace, for your goodness, for your mercy. We say thank you, Lord. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you, Lord. We cannot help but thank you. That we are here today, we say thank you. That you kept us through the year, we say thank you. That you provided food for us, clothes to wear, shelter, a roof over our heads, we say thank you. There are many that are homeless on the streets. There are many sick and hungry children acro across the world. There are many, Lord, that are crying for help. But Father God, you heard us. You helped us. You brought us this far. We are here to say thank you. We don't want to ask of anything, Lord, but just to say thank you that we are alive. Many in the grave today will give anything to be alive tomorrow. But here we are, Lord, because of your mercy. I'm alive today. Not just me, all of us. We are alive today because God kept us. We are here today only because of his grace. He kept us. Oh, my God. He kept us. God kept us. So we wouldn't let go. We are here today because God kept us. We are alive today only because of His grace. Oh, He kept us. God kept us. He kept us. So we wouldn't let go. Thank you, faithful Father. It is your love that has kept us till now. May your name forever be praised. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for 2019. Thank you for 2020. It's going to be a great, great year. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All the glory is yours. Lord, we are still believing you. Any other miracle, blessings, testimonies that is hanging before the, that is supposed to reach us in this year, with these few hours remaining, let them locate us. In the name of Jesus, you are the God of all possibilities, able to change situations in the twinkle of an eye. And we are thanking you ahead of 2020. We are thanking you ahead of 2020, Father. We are already depositing our thanksgiving in 2020 into your hands because we know you will perfect everything that concerns us. 2020 is about to roll in. And we begin to decree and declare into that same 2020 that it will not end until everything that belongs to us locates us, our miracle jobs. Miracle babies, husbands, wives, financial breakthroughs, divine settlements in any form, shape, or size. Lord, we receive all ahead in the name of Jesus. Greater heights. Lord, open doors in the name of Jesus. 2020 is our year of greater glory, our year of greater testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, 2020, Lord, you will power us up for your kingdom. You will power us up, Lord. We will be so powered up, powered up for you, O God. In the name of Jesus, our batteries will never run dry because you are our source. May your name be praised, Jesus. May your name be glorified, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 
fasting starts today. We already fasting till 6 p.m. So it's not like a long fast. It's only now till 6 p.m. Eh? 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So make sure you connect. If you were not aware of it, I did not post it, but I said it in my videos previous two. In my last two videos, I'll be audios or videos, I said it. So if you were online, you should know. I wasn't led to post it because I feel it's for specific people. It's for those that really want a change because even if you post it, it is still the same people that we fast that we fast. People that will not fast, they still will not fast. So those of you that is here, you are privileged. God wanted you to know and he wanted you to do it. So make sure if you have not, uh, if you are not aware, you don't, there's no problem. You just key yourself into it. Now brush your teeth. In fact, don't even brush your teeth. Just carry on the fast. <laughs> if you know that when you brush your teeth, it will make you to go and eat. So don't brush. Carry your teeth like that. Rinse your mouth and join the fast. Praise the Lord. Six o'clock, we'll be breaking the fast. So we'll be, uh, we'll, uh, tomorrow, we'll be online. We're having a three days program. Three days program for greater glory. This is number one. This is just the first step to greater glory. Second step is coming. And then tomorrow, we'll be online. We are not fasting tomorrow. It's a new year. And you people want to eat and celebrate with your family. But our prayer will start 12 midnight after you have finished all the jolly jolly. 12 midnight on the first to 12 midnight on the second. 24 hours fast. Let's come and prophesy. Let's come and decree and declare into our 2020. 2020 must be your best year ever. 2020 must yield its increase to us. 2020 will be our year of open doors. Let's come and speak and prophesy. I told you guys, you are a prophet unto your own self. So come and speak words, life, life-changing words into that situation it is our year for greater glory that will be our testimony for 2020 like daddy and nature we always say that is our testimony greater glory that is our testimony what is your testimony greater glory so get ready to be launched into your greater glory come with expectation mm. now i wanted to go and write Things you want to see happen this year in your life. Go and write seven. I hear seven. I heard seven things. Seven things. Seven things you want God to do in your life in this year. Seven. I did not say 24, 10. Because some of us are very dramatic in everything. We like to overdo things. I heard seven from this January. Seven things you want God to do. We'll pray on it in these three days. And then you go and stick it on your wall, on your fridge, anywhere. As the year is going by, you'll be taking your buttons. You'll be taking it. You'll be taking it. I am not saying you should go and ask things, seven things that you want that you want now listen there is a difference between a want and a need i am talking about a need a want is something you can do without so if you put want there that you can't do without and god chose to just leave it like that to god be the glory you don't want you don't need it but seven things you can't do without seven maximum of seven you only can be two Young can be five, but maximum of seven specifics you need God to do. Write them. Not seven A, uh, one A, one B, two A, two B kind. Because mm -mm. some of us can do that. You say oh, seven, okay, no problem. I'll reach that. So I'll just, I'll just put them one A, one B. So far is seven. Mm -mm. Just seven specific particular things you need God to do. Or handle your life. Write it down. After these three days of prayer, go and stick it on your fridge. Stick it on your wall. Stick it anywhere you want to stick it. So that each time you are going, you'll be seeing it and be thanking God for it. 
as you are writing it, you're already writing in, in anticipation, in appreciation to God. Make sure loving him very well is part of that. I pray for all of you that the Lord will bless you, cause his face to shine upon you. It is well with all of you in Jesus' name. In these three days that we are coming online and we are we are we are declaring and decreeing into our 2020, make sure you connect, make sure you connect, make sure you connect. You know, and the Lord of hosts will bless you. And also, um, don't wait for us to come online before you pray, before you read your Bible. As you are writing these seven lists, bring them before God on your own. Even on your own, begin to pray about the Father. This is the seven things I need you to help me with in this 2020. Lord, help me in so and so and so area. And then be praying over it. In these three days, be praying over it. So make sure you join the fast, as I said before. I'm just repeating and recapping because some people will still message and say, Woman of God, I did not hear what you said. So now I'm repeating myself. Make sure you join, connect, end the year with him and start the year with him. That is the best way to do it. And it God, the Lord of hosts, we settle your case. We settle your life in Jesus' name. Get ready for 12 o'clock. We'll be back online 12 noon, my time. It is 7.30 now. So calculate how many hours from now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say about four and a half hours or five and a half hours or something like that. Four and a half hours from now. So make sure you connect back by 12. 12 noon will be online. Praise the Lord. God bless all of you. See you later in the day. In Jesus' name. Go and get your list ready. Put them in your Bible for now. Whenever we want to pray, you bring it out. After prayer, put it back. The Lord of hosts will answer you by his fire. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless all of you and see you later on. Shalom.